to have our first guest with us tonight. He served for 36 years as a senator from Delaware. He was vice president under the Obama administration, and now he serves as the 46th president of the United States. This is his first time on a late night program as the sitting president. Please welcome President Joe Biden. <laughs> yes. Hey, Jimmy, how are you, man? <laughs> president Biden, I appreciate you being here. Uh, it's your first time on our show as President Biden, and I, I'm, I'm honored. I'm honored to be on. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, we have lots to talk about. Uh, let's start with some, some good news here. You, you passed your infrastructure bill. Uh, this is a big deal. Passed. Uh, what, are, what are some changes that Americans can expect uh, from passing the bill? Well, you know, we, we used to be the number one, have the best infrastructure in the world, highways, bridges, the whole works. Uh, and now we rank number 13th in the world. And we just... And it makes it has a lot to do with quality of life. It has a lot to do with whether or not we're going to be competitive. But for example, one thing it does, we're going to replace all the lead pipes in America that are causing people to get sick, get cancer, and kids to be able to drink clean water. We're going to make sure that we have everywhere in the country, rural and urban and suburban, we have internet connections because the world is changing and we're so far behind the curve. But the big thing it's going to do is it's going to create millions of jobs and it's going to change the quality of life for an awful lot of people around the country. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's, that's great. Uh, and I know you've been working hard on the, the Build Back Better plan. Uh, and yes. some people may not fully understand what's actually in this plan. Is there a simple way to break it down? Yeah, what's in it is the ability for working class and middle class people to have their cost of living cut significantly. For example, there is money in there to make sure that there's uh, the ability to care for child care. Right now, if you're in New York and you're a man or a woman uh, having a child care for your children, you're paying twenty-one dollars to $25,000 a year to be able to do that. Well, most people can't do that, so people leave the workforce. This will mean you don't have to pay more than 7% of your income, saving tens of thousands of dollars over time. We also provided in that, in that bill, the Build Back Better initiative, we're going to make sure you're able to send your three and four and five-year-olds to school, which will increase exponentially their chances of succeeding. All the studies show, Jimmy, that 47% better chance of graduating from high school, no matter what the background you come from, no matter what home you come from, and be able to go on to get to school. What better can happen for America than have a better educated population? Absolutely. There's a whole range of things that are in there that are going to really reduce, essentially, the cost of living for people in a reasonable, rational way. And, and by the way, every single bit of that bill is paid for. No one making less than 400000 bucks a year will pay an, a, an additional cent in taxes as well as it will not increase the deficit one penny. Uh, I, this, do you think that this will pass uh, the, the Senate before the year? Well, I hope it will. Though, you know, I don't have a single Republican vote right now to pass it. Um, and uh, wow. so it's going to be tough. But I think we can get it done. And uh, if we don't get it, I'm going to keep at it till we get it done. I was at the, the, the Kennedy Center, and I saw Republicans and Democrats uh, in the crowd. Everyone was laughing at jokes and listening to great music, and, and it's, everyone seemed cordial and nice. And I go, oh, this seems like this should be much easier to, to get along with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy, <laughs> look, the, the, the truth is that before COVID hit, the Trump arm of the Republican Party, which seems to be the Republican Party now, um, uh, did not even show up at the Kennedy Center. They, they, they wouldn't go to the awards. Yeah. So all the people you have, at, we saw at that event, which was a very fulsome event, were people who, in fact, they're Republicans, but they're the kind of, like, for example, a lot of Republicans and Democrats used to get really on well together. For example, one of the reasons I was a little bit late coming on is because, uh, not coming on, but to do the taping here, is because I did Bob Dole's eulogy today. He asked me in his deathbed whether I would do his eulogy. We're friends. We disagreed, but we we're friends. We used to have an awful lot of that relationship. And there still exists, except that the QAnon and the extreme elements of the Republican Party and what 
what what Donald Trump keeps sort of seems to me feeding the uh, uh, you know with the big lie. Uh, it makes it awful hard. There's a uh, and I think most Republicans uh, and, and there's an awful lot of Republicans in Congress. I think would agree. With that. Yeah, I thought it was great to see you there, and I thought uh, I said. I, I was, uh, we gave you a standing ovation because I go, here he is, he's bringing class back. He's a classy guy, and well, you're bringing class back to the office, and I thought it was very kind amazing that, that he did that. Uh, uh, the, the, the COVID problem, I don't know what else to do and how to tell people to, to get the vaccine. I, I, at this point, just I think people are going to do what they will, I guess. I don't know what to say, but I, is it the youth that we have to uh, just... I hope that the kids get us out of this because I mean I got vaxxed, I got boosted, I got whatever you got. I, I, if you want me to wear red pants, I'll wear red pants. I want this thing to go away. Well, I think what I'd do is have more people listen to your song. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, see that. I, I think that will get a move. I gotta no, tell you, I listen. I gotta tell you. So I, I, I had this song come out. Uh, it's called "It Was a Mass Christmas" this week with Ariana Grande and Megan Thee Stallion. And thank you. You were nice enough. You were nice enough to tweet about it. Tis the season to get boosted. This is amazing that the president did this. I, I'm, I'm so excited that you did this. It changed everything. All these radio stations want the song now. They're playing the song. Uh, but you, you said that uh, in another comment, you said that the message is very important. Get your booster. Well, it is. It's really important, Jimmy. Look, all the data. Look. We're so far ahead of the rest of the world in terms of the science, the technology to produce the vaccines. And now we found out that, that the, if you have your two shots from Moderna or from Pfizer or the one shot from uh, J&J, what, what happens is this booster shot not only brings the levels back up of, of immunity, I mean, to deal with the fighting off the virus, any of the viruses, but it, it brings it up exponentially. And so if you want to be sure you're going to be okay, and the other good news, Jimmy, is that we now have five, six, and seven-year-olds are able to be vaccinated, yeah. as well as teenagers. And so we're moving. Yep. We're moving. Now, I, I, I don't know the, the politicization of this, making it become a political statement if you, if you get the shot and somehow, I don't know what the hell. Anyway. Uh, it, but yeah. here's, the, here's the deal, Jim. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, the bottom line is that the way to avoid this virus is to get two shots and then get the booster shot. It's available. We have the medicines available. It will make a gigantic difference. And even if you don't care so much about yourself, think about your kid, your brother, your sister, your coworker. It make and this stuff about you know Biden's mandating these things happening and this un-American. Look at it this way. It's patriotic to get this done. Not a joke. Yeah. It's patriotic to get it done. Yeah. Do you, um, how, how much do you pay attention to approval ratings? Well, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I was paying attention in the, in the mid 60s. Now in the mid 40s, I, I don't pay attention. <laughs> I appreciate the honesty, yeah. I mean, because no, yeah, but, you came in, you came in hot. And then you got to medium, and now you're at a low. But you just got to keep your head down, right, and just keep doing the right thing. Well, look, here's the deal. I think that it's uh, we've been in less than a year. Um, a lot has happened. And look, people are afraid. People are worried. And people are getting so much inaccurate information to them. I don't mean about me, but about this, their, their situation. And, and, and so they're, you know, they're, they're, they're being told that, you know, Armageddon's on the way. Yeah. The truth is, the economy has grown more than it has any time in close to 60 years. The unemployment rate's down to 4.2%. It's going to go lower, in my view. Right. We do have inflation on things that, in fact, uh, matter to people's lives. You know, when you show up at a gas station and it's $3.50 at your pump, although now, because I I took 50 billion barrel, million barrels out of the they call the oil petroleum reserve. The, the gasoline is down below three dollars in many places. It's going to come down. It's going to move. But in the meantime, people are worried, and they're worried about whether or not you know they have a brother, sister, uncle, aunt who has gotten COVID, and they don't know what to do about. It. I mean, so 
there's a lot of anxiety. And my job is to be straightforward, shoot from the shoulder, let people know exactly what the truth is and lay out how I'm going to try to make life better for them. Yeah, does uh, th does anyone really understand how hard your job is? Like who who I mean besides well, my I... uncle apparently <laughs> uh, who knows everything. Uh, he knows everything. Uh, but I mean Well, send him over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you don't want to talk to this guy. Uh, uh, but I mean I, I even just being in DC the other day and driving around and you go see all these giant buildings and you just you feel kind of nervous and you feel like I'm feel important when I'm there but you're the, you're the leader of our, our country. I mean, does the pressure, and then you have to do 20 events during the day that we don't even see. Well, look, I was vice president for eight years. I, I knew what the job was, and I don't, no one should feel sorry for me. It's the greatest honor anybody could have in their whole life, in my view, is to be president of the United States. But what, what, what the difference is, the difference is, is that, um, when you're in a, when in the Congress, and I had important jobs in the Congress as a senator, I was chairman of important committees. But being president is like being chairman of every single committee. Nothing gets to my desk unless it hasn't been able to be solved before it got to my desk. So by definition, it's more difficult. Harry Truman had a great line. He said about being president, he said, the buck stops here. I used to be, I, I kid at Barack, uh, President Obama who's a good friend, and we served with eight years as friends together. And I used to say to him, instead of him thanking me for, I got to be the last guy in the room to give him advice. That was the deal we had. And I get to, he thanked me, and I get to walk out and say, look, I give you the advice, you gotta make the decision. Yeah. You know, and what, what happens is, is gonna be on you. But that's part of the deal. But look, I have enormous confidence. I, you're gonna think I'm gonna re realize how, what a naive guy I am. But I really have faith at the end of the day, the American people are going to get it. They understand. They understand. Given half a shot, they've never, ever, 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 ever let the country down. We just got to give them a shot. That's right. Uh, more, more with President Joe Biden when we come back, everybody. Hey.